Alright YouTubers, welcome Uncle Dave from DC's Adventures and I'm coming to you with another review video. Today we'll be looking at the Moore Bushcraft Black. Uh, for those of you who followed the channel, you know I've been carrying the Blackbird SK-5 for about a year now and unfortunately I did break the tip off of that knife uh, about two weeks ago while filming the Off the Grid. And good news is today Ontario Knife Company contacted me and told me if I send the knife in that they will send me a replacement. So we're going to do that, put that in the mail today. And I wanted to do a quick review of the Mora Black Bushcraft because this is the knife that's going to replace my SK-5 until I get it back in the mail. And this is a great knife. I've had it for over a year, but it's been sitting in the storage unit as my backup survival knife with some of my long-term prepping gear. So let's quickly look at some video I shot about a year ago when I first got this knife in the mail and take a look at what the packaging looked like when I got it from Amazon. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit about what kind of steel it has, how thick it is, and the kind of uses that we're going to be looking at for, uh, black for the Mora Black Bushcraft. So stay tuned and yeah, here's what the packaging looked like. Here we are, this is a Mora Bushcraft knife. I wanted to give you a chance to look at what the packaging looks like and what it looks like before I unpack it and lay it all out for a review. So this is how it comes. Alright, so there's the packaging. Here we are, I got a setup in a place where we got better lighting. Take a look at this thing. Here we are, the Mora Bushcraft Black. Uh, this thing has, uh, the steel on it is 12C27. A pretty typical high carbon steel from Mora. I do believe that this particular steel is still rolled out, so they roll the steel out, they stamp out the shape of the knife, they put an edge on it, and then they temper it. Uh, if you use a lot of Mora knives, you know that their steel is absolutely awesome. Uh, it holds an edge really well for a long time. You can get it really, really sharp. Uh, sometimes it's so hard that it will take chips if you're abusing the knife because it's a really hard high carbon steel uh, this knife features a 90 degree spine throws great sparks as you can see the uh, the knife comes with a nice plastic sheath it comes with two loops you have a clip on loop which you can just slide right onto your belt or you can put it on a button if you have pants that have buttons to hold a knife with uh, that's kind of an old school type thing I think the Finnish and um, people from that part of the country uh, part of the world usually have those kind of buttons on their pants for their knife to go on it also comes with a closed loop which I uh, I usually like a closed loop but uh, with my more knives I've gotten so used to having this this clip that you can slip on and off it's really handy uh, you can get this knife without this extra panel attached to the sheath uh, this panel here I do believe will come off but I'm not going to try to take it off because it'll just break it off it has a diamond sharpener and it has a ferro rod here and the ferro rod is labeled on the package to have 7000 strikes on it the knife itself has a polymer injected plastic handle on it that has kind of a rubbery coating on it which really makes this knife probably the most ergonomic knife that I've ever held by Mora. Uh, it's a really great knife. I used this knife for a few weeks actually that someone else had and as soon as I got back from that trip I had to buy one because as far as the size, quality, and how much I, I got this knife for 40 dollars and 99 cents but it had ten dollars off any more knife at Amazon at the time so when I ordered it it actually had ten dollars off so it was actually uh, fifty dollars and 99 cents is what it was before I got the discount with free shipping uh, the blade is uh, an eighth of an inch thick so I don't know if you can see but this is a more classic number one right next to it and you can see the difference in these two knives and uh, I've done lots of work. I carry my Mora Classic on my on my neck, around my neck as my neck knife for years now. And uh, you know these knives are a lot, a lot alike. 
but uh, the black is just so much thicker and so much beefier. Uh, also, something I want to talk about is the tang in this is not quite full tang, but it's not really as short of a tang as you usually get in most Mora knives. This knife has more of a three-quarter tang. It goes all the way back to about here. And I know the lighting is still pretty bad. The lighting is coming from the other direction. But, uh... Let's, uh, actually, let's, let's quickly take a look at what the internet has to show for what the tang looks like on this knife real quick, alright? So you got a pretty good idea of what the inside of this knife looks like. Alright, so you saw that. That's not a full tang, but not really, uh, your typical Mora tang. It's not a rat tang, that's for sure, and it's not, uh... It's not a half tang, it's pretty close to a three-quarter tang, a little bit more. It comes pretty close to the end of that knife, which is pretty good. Uh, once again, this is, uh, this is like a bushcraft survival knife, so it's not really a knife that you're going to be doing lots of batoning with. I wouldn't recommend doing too much. I have seen lots of guys do batoning with it, though, and it seems to work just fine. Uh, this is more for bushcraft and uh, whittling and carving and woodcrafting all the stuff you use most of your Mora knives for. This one is a lot thicker though, so as far as having a one tool option or a survival option, this is a, a knife that you're going to be able to do a lot more than you're going to be able to do with just your classic number one. Definitely weighs a little bit more than the classic number one and with this sheath, especially with the fancy uh, fancy stuff on it, because this has this diamond this diamond sharpener on here and then your ferro rod it's a little bit heavier, but this is a great knife, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. This is going to be pretty much my first week carrying this, uh, and I'll probably be carrying this knife for, I don't know, at least the next month, but I might carry it for the whole summer. It depends on how it goes these next two hikes I have to take with it. So there we are. That's a quick look at my more Bushcraft Black. It's a sweet knife, and for the price... Um, not many bushcraft knives can beat this one right here. This is going to do a lot of the work that you're going to need to do when it comes to bushcraft tasks, uh, wilderness survival, building traps, making triggers, doing all the stuff that we all do out there when we're out hiking the great outdoors. So once again, Uncle Dave with DC's Adventures, thank you for joining us. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave some awesome comments. Tell me what your options are on this knife. Tell me what your experiences are in this knife down below. And we will see you in the next video.